Well, it was not a happy new year for the Hawkeyes. Tennessee absolutely destroyed Iowa 35 to 0 in the Citrus Bowl. Our Scott Reister has more on this afternoon's blowout loss in Orlando and Scott, it was not pretty. Yeah, it was the worst case scenario for the Hawkeyes from start to finish. The offense was as bad as ever and that usually stout Iowa defense could not contain the Vols fab freshman quarterback making his first start. The biggest excitement I'd say would be the spectacular performance by the cheese it mascot Chad Z. From there, it was kind of downhill. I was actually put together a great drive on its second drive of the game. Game was still scoreless, but then Deacon Hill threw into the coverage. Andre Turrentine picks it off, says my ball. Brian Ferentz's last game was certainly one to forget as offensive coordinator. Tennessee was without their starting running back or quarterback, Joe Milton, who opted out, but they had a five-star freshman QB, Nico Ia Malialva. His 19 yard touchdown run made it seven nothing later in the second. Nico does it again with his legs, makes it 14 nothing. That was your score at the half. Third quarter goes by almost entirely with no score. And then this happened. Deacon Hill under pressure loses the ball. Tennessee recovers. Nico would score his third rushing touchdown after that to make it 21 nothing. Could it get any worse? It got worse. Start of the fourth Hill picked off. James Pierce reads it like a book. He's got reservations for six. 52 yards the other way. Tennessee beats Iowa like a drum. 35-0 the final to end the season. KCCI has team coverage for you. Bo Bowman is with some loyal Hawkeye fans and Clive. First, let's get you out to Orlando. Shannon Earhart joins us live and Shannon, that was not pretty. Scott, a bummer for Hawkeye fans here in Orlando and at home in Iowa City. I mean, Iowa hasn't scored a touchdown since Black Friday, not even let alone a touchdown, any points since Black Friday when Marshall Meter had that walk off field goal against Nebraska. Now Iowa has been shut out three times. First Penn State, then Michigan in the Big Ten Championship. And now today at the bowl game here, it was Tennessee. The numbers aren't going to lie to you. A total of 173 offensive yards. Tennessee had 383 comparably, 113 rushing yards for Iowa, 60 passing yards, just 11 first downs. They averaged 2.8 yards per play. Now let me get into quarterback Deacon Hill and his stats. We saw what happened to him in the fourth quarter. He went seven for 18, 56 yards and two interceptions. Hawkeye fans were silent for most of the game after Deacon Hill threw his second interception. I saw Marco Linus taking snaps on the sideline. Hawkeye fans, like I said, were silent, but when Linus replaced Hill at quarterback, the black and gold section came unglued. Scott, it was unbelievable. Saw some type of spark here. He actually had more rushing yards in seven minutes and 42 seconds that he played than the entire team had the whole game. 17 total plays for Linus, 62 total yards. He played some running back too as freshman, so that's how you saw him move his legs so fast. 